the Euros is now just around the corner, two weeks away pretty much with it being not this Friday but next Friday and club football is now over with the Champions League final finishing on Saturday just gone, Real Madrid being the victors. So really I think this is the start of the Euros, England have a friendly tonight and you kind of get a feel that teams are going to start taking shape from this point. So I've tried to not look at, well, I haven't looked at any other prediction videos. I'm going into it a bit blind as I'm not too sure what a lot of the groups look like. So it's going to be a bit more of a, a on-the-spot prediction rather than me thinking about everything. So I, th I think it could be a bit better because it will be just genuinely what I'm thinking at that point. So, without further ado, let's get into the prediction. So, we start off with the group stages. We've got Germany, Scotland, Hungary and Switzerland. Now, Germany being the hosts, I'd be very surprised if they didn't finish top. So, I'll go for them in first place. Scotland, Hungary, Switzerland. It's tough between these three. Scotland performed very well in the Nations League and in the qualifying for this tournament. I've got a feeling that it'll be it's between Scotland and Switzerland for this next space. And I'm going to back Switzerland just because of the tournament experience. I think they've got some very good players. I think Scotland will come third and Hungary fourth. Although Hungary... They did beat us a couple of times in the Nations League, so maybe they could be a bit of a shock in that group. Group B, now this is looking tough. Spain, Croatia, Italy, Albania. Now, unfortunately for Albania, I will have them finishing last. And to be honest, Croatia, they are at the end of a cycle at the moment, I'd say. So I've got a feeling Spain will win it. Italy second, and then Croatia and Albania third and fourth. Slovenia, Denmark, Serbia, England. Now, obviously, I know about this group. I'm going to put England top of it. And then I think it's quite tight between Denmark and Serbia. Serbia have got some very good players, as of Denmark. But I think Serbia got the better players, the better individual players. But Denmark played well as a team. So... It's a tough one. Last World Cup, I backed Serbia to do well and they didn't. So I'm going to go for Denmark second, Serbia third, Slovenia last. Group D, Netherlands, Austra uh, Australia, sorry, Austria, France and Poland. Now, this is quite a tough one. I think France will qualify in first place. I think Poland will be bottom, but Austria have been very, very good under Ralf Ranić recently, so maybe they'll cause a bit of a surprise. Netherlands, they do seem to... The, the, the defence is the best part about the squad. They've struggled in attack in recent seasons, although they do have some good attackers that have kind of, kind of come into their first real tournaments as like star players, so maybe Netherlands... This should be okay. So Austria and Poland third and fourth. Belgium, Slovakia, Romania, Ukraine. Now again, Belgium, from what I can remember, seem to get quite simple groups. Well, the last time they weren't great in the World Cup when they had Morocco, uh, Canada, somebody else, I can't remember, sorry. But yeah, they didn't perform too well in that group, but they got through it. I think Belgium will get through it, but I can't see much of them at this tournament. And then I'm going to go for Ukraine, Slovakia, Romania. Last group, Turkey, Georgia, Portugal, Czech Republic. Now, I've got a good feeling about Portugal this tournament. I think they're going to do pretty well, but I guess it depends what the round of 16 throws out. Turkey, Georgia and Czech Republic... Turkey should have a good tournament, but they were dark horses last time and they finished bottom of their group. So, but I'm going to do it. Turkey, Czech Republic, Georgia. So they are at six groups. The third place ranking, now four of these sides will go through. 
straight away, I've got a feeling Croatia won't perform too well as the third place team because Spain and Italy are both good sides and I can't see them beating them. And Albania, I don't know, Croatia always strike me as a side that draw or pick up a 1-0. They don't, I don't see them blowing anyone away, which means I don't fancy Croatia to be in the top four. And then you kind of look at Austria, but I fancy them to beat Poland. So who's going to struggle? I think I know, yeah. The top four aren't in any order, but I'm just going to go for the four teams that I think will get through in third place ranking. So it's going to be Scotland, Serbia, Austria, and the Czech Republic, and then Croatia and Slovakia not qualifying through third place. Reasons, as I said, Croatia might pick up a 1-0 against Albania, but I don't see them winning the others. It's going to leave them short. Slovakia, I think, could get some against Ukraine, Romania, or maybe Belgium. Czech Republic, I think, could get some against Turkey, and they probably should beat Georgia. Serbia could get some against Denmark and should beat Slovenia again. <laughs> a lot of these. And Scotland, similar similar with them. Slov uh, yes, I, I don't know. I don't know about Slovakia. Maybe it's harsh, but... I think Ukraine, Slovakia, Romania are all very tight. So yeah, we'll go for that. Which gives us the round of 16. Germany v Denmark. The Germans in the home tournament. I've got to go for them. And I think with Musiala and Wurz behind whoever plays up front, probably Kai Havertz, I think will cause a lot of problems creatively. Musiala and Wurz are very, very good. Very good season, so... Yeah, Italy against Switzerland, I fancy them. Spain to knock out the Czech Republic. These are all looking a bit too... It won't happen like this. All the obvious teams won't get through. But I'm going to go for England to beat Austria as well. That'll be a tough one, I think, though, if it comes to it. Portugal v Scotland. I see a Portugal win. Netherlands, Ukraine again. Netherlands, Belgium, Serbia. I'm going to back Serbia. I'm doing what I did before. I'm backing teams pretty stupidly. Although I've messed this up a bit because I think these four needed to be in order. So, it's always hard with a third place thing. We'll leave it as that. The third place thing's tough. I don't like that third now qualifies. I just think they should have enough groups and the top two go through. But... It makes stuff like this difficult as well, but France should get past Turkey, I think. Which means Germany, Spain, Portugal, Netherlands, Serbia, France, and England, Italy. I think France will get past Serbia. And I think England will really fight those horrible moments, that horrible game where we lost the Euro final last time. It's a repeat. We should have won that time. I think we will manage to do it this time against Italy if it comes to it. Portugal, Netherlands. I think it's tough, but I'll go Portugal. Germany, Spain is a tough game. Spain might go under the radar a bit, but Germany, the hosts. I'll back them again. But I think Portugal will take them out if it comes to it in the semis. Which then gives us that World Cup rematch from last time out France v England France beat England 2-1 went on to win it can England manage to get revenge we've got a great squad we really do but France always always seem to just do it which gives us a France Portugal final and I hate to do it but I'm going for France to win again and it looks like here, the most predicted teams according to the Telegraph that I'm on, just the first one that popped up, France first, 24%, England, 22% of people think they'll win it, and Germany, 14%. So, three of those made it all the way to the semi-finals, but it was Portugal that got to the final, which wasn't favoured by a lot of people and then France beat them in the final 
I'd love it to be England, obviously, but I always struggle to see past France in tournaments. Their squad depth is insane. You've got defenders like William Saliba who they don't they don't play. They get into the squad, but they don't start. If if England had Saliba, he'd be our best centre back. Him partnered with Stones, I'd fancy us then to go and win the competition probably, but England's problems, as they have been for the last few tournaments, although we have performed well in defence, but I think our second choice centre back behind Stones isn't great and we don't have much depth. Left back, we've got Shaw going to the tournament, but he's probably not going to make it to the tournament, so we've got no left backs, and the depth there is poor. And then going to the central midfield, who partners Royce? Do you drop Bellingham back? I think that's probably what they'll do. I wouldn't play Trent there, but we just lack in defensive depth mainly. So, yeah, I'm going for France to win the tournament. Let me know down below what you think will happen in this. I think it's going to be a great tournament. I hope England can do it. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.